You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what is it going on guys? Max here or Raw Instinct and today I'm doing a complete breakdown of the Call of Duty Elite Beta as we can see here. I just got into it about two or three days ago and I didn't get a chance to make a video but I'm deciding to do it now and uh, I'm going to be showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly and most of it is very awesome guys so let's get straight into it. Now here is our homepage. As you can see this is our career and uh, if we go to the home screen, give it a second here. Um, it's going to take me to my gamer tag and it's going to basically show me my elite feed. Um, same thing as like a news feed. I don't know why they didn't call it a news feed. Um, you can go down here with your friends and you can also add Facebook friends. So if you have Facebook friends that may have an Xbox or may have their Xbox account linked to it, then you can simply add them onto here. And over here you can speak your mind. So you can say, hey, what's up everyone? And uh, you can post it and other people can read it. And I'm not too sure how this is going to work in the future. But as far as now, this is how it's going to kind of work. And this is just our elite summary. Um, if we move over to our Black Ops player card, this is one of my personal favorites. It shows us our whole player card in an easy to read format that is very nice, very clean, and very beautiful. As you can see here, my winning percentage is about 56%. My key ratio is 2.06. Not the greatest, but I don't really try all that hard in this game to tell you the truth. Um, taking a look at my XP, I have about 1.2 million points and uh, a career earning of about 1.6 million COD points. Coming down to here, I am a level 50 commander in the third prestige and uh, I can basically calculate how long it's going to take me to prestige and I can do it right away so it says 0 seconds, obviously. Um, checking out, this is awesome right here, seeing how much different game types you've played. I've played a lot of Domination, a lot of Search and Destroy, as you can see, 91 hours in Domination, 46 in Search and Destroy, 38 in Team Deathmatch, and 40 in other game types. Recent matches, this is the recent match, it's going to show you your breakdown, you lost, I lost, I suck really bad in this game, it's okay. Um, I played on Nuketown, not my personal favorite. Coming down to here, which is awesome, 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 is a custom classes guide and just what you have currently on your custom classes in Black Ops. I currently have six classes out of ten. And as you can see here, there's no ghost classes. So that definitely deserves a like, and I did not set this up ahead of time, guys. Um, I got one FAMAS class, a PSG class, an M16, blah, 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 blah. Going down to my personal best, 35 KD is my personal best. It's going to show you here your most headshots, your longest kill streak. Of course, your most kills and the highest score you have ever received in a game. And if you take a look on the right over here, guys, you're going to see the different scroll bar, and it's going to kind of scroll down. So when you get to the leaderboard tracker, the leaderboard tracker is going to appear, and it's going to light up. So coming over here, it's going to show your all-time monthly and weekly goals or um, your current tracker for the different game types. And you can also add rivals. So if you want to rival against your friend, simple way to do it there. I think that's an awesome feature. Coming down to weapon performance, you can check your primary weapons, secondaries, grenades, equipment, and killstreaks. Very basic, very simple, very awesome. Coming down to the Black Ops Stereo Mode, which I currently don't do, but if you don't have a PVR, this is somewhat great. You can uh, link your YouTube channel with Call of Duty Elite Beta, and you can basically upload your videos. I'm pretty sure there's a 30 second um, limit on your videos, but that's okay. And uh, also, you can upload your screenshots. And uh, we're at the bottom of the page now, so we're going to head over to Connect. And so, uh, as you can see here, we have connect, compete, and improve. So let's go to connect. Now, heading over to connect, there is multiple different groups in this game. Some, you know, some of them are kind of weird and not really necessary, but that's okay. Uh, here, you can group tagged. Um, you can group your tags. Um, you can manage it here. Other people can tag you, and you can accept the tags. Very simple. Going down to featured groups, this is you know somewhat weird. This is kind of like uh, an elitist group or you know a popularity contest. What's your favorite baseball team? Obviously, the Yankees are the most popular. The one of the biggest cities in the United States is Los Angeles, so obviously it's going to have the most members. Blah 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 blah. Going down to compete, um, it's going to basically have the whole program guide for different um, weekly goals and different things that Elite will be offering, which I like a lot. As you can see here, it's holding down the fort, and what this here basically consists of is over, I think, a 24-hour period or a weekend, whoever can get the most points in a single game or the most flag caps all together, the whole you know the average together, will either be in the top 10%, the top 25%, or the top 50%. It starts in an hour and 37 minutes, as you can see here. And uh, the reward are these little badges here, and you can earn a badge whenever you get one of them done. We're just going to head back. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the events a lot. I didn't really like the connect thing. It was kind of weird. It's 
it's kind of like, you know, trying to connect and connect people together and get to know other people. But, you know, I think they should really take that out. Um, and going down to the Lone Wolf Operations, these are different games that you can play by yourself and different uh, competitions you can play by yourself to win different prizes and different um, badges, I guess you could say. Last but not least, we have the Improved Black Ops tab. I'm going to go through this really fast. Very simple. You have all your different maps first off, and it's going to show you the different, you know, the spawn points, the bomb locations, and the plant locations on each of the game types on each map. Very simple, very basic, but it, but I really do love this feature, and I'm going to be using this a lot in future videos um, when Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Checking out the assault rifles, same thing. It's going to give you your stat damage, and this is a great breakdown of how the guns are truly rated. You don't have to go off some website. You can t check, out, check out the video guide for the weapon, and it's going to show you your accuracy, your KD ratio, and yes, my accuracy is 14%. Who cares? Going down to the light machine guns, same thing as always. Secondaries is going to be the same. Checking out the attachments, we can check out, let's say, the variable zoom. And when you go to the variable zoom, it's going to give you, once again, the simple stats on it and how you can possibly improve on it. It's taking a while to load here, unfortunately. But uh, I am, what, six kills away from my new marksman, which is um, the variable zoom marksman six. So that's easy to know, and maybe I'll use the marksman a little bit more often. And uh, heading down to the perks, this is the final one, guys. Um, the perks is just going to show you some good com um, combinations, um, what the pros kind of use, and uh, something regular that you can use to improve your game type. And that is pretty much it with the Call of Duty Elite beta as of now. The last feature is you can simply uh, look up other players. So if we want to look up, let's see, White Boy, 7th Street, for example. I'm not picking him out for no reason. Um, I guess he's not here. We'll type in... We'll just type in Raw Instinct again. You can search up any gamer tag you want, and I guess I'm already here, so this is kind of a fail. Koopalupa72, which is my in real life friend, you can go to their little account, and you can basically check out their stats. So that's pretty much the whole review of Call of Duty Elite Beta, guys. If you want some more videos of me breaking down some other features, please let me know, but please like and favor the video if you enjoyed it. Have a great day, guys. It's Raw Instinct. I'm signing out, and peace.